Welcome to uh, Carpooling with Ben. I've got Captain Tom because we're taking the show on the water. Absolutely. Off the road. No totally off the road. No pavement. No pavement. Captain Tom of the Providence River Boat Company. Welcome Thank aboard, you. Ben. Thank you for having me. Oh, uh, this our is, pleasure. This is gorgeous. This is the, you know, everybody thinks that the only place you can see by the water is Newport, and that's not the case. Absolutely. Not. It's one of many, but one of the best is right here in Providence. Providence is a city built around the water. Main source, the main reason people were here was to uh, uh, farm from the sea and to sail from here and trade. That's why Providence exists here at the top of the bay. Was, uh, uh, before it was the center of industry, it was the center of trade. Yeah. And the river is the main source of that. They could put the pull large ships right in here and unload cargo in the middle of downtown Providence. Wow. Um, Providence is a city built around the sea. It's, it's fantastic. There's a lot of things happening down here. I mean, the Providence Riverfront is going, undergoing a major, major overhaul over the past two decades um, completely, completely transformed yeah and, and it, 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 it's, it's beautiful and the events that happen down here so if there's no event happening that's okay you guys are open you have a schedule and people can come down here and take a, a beautiful tour of the place so tell me what about the tour we do a 45 to 50 minute tour here in the uh, downtown area right in the middle of Providence um, you'll get to see the city from an angle I assure you you've never seen before okay uh, some great architecture here, some bridges. We talk a little about the history of the city, why people are, we came here, and some of the events that have happened, some of the hurricanes, and that, how that changed Providence and the way we live here. Um, we talk about how Providence's downtown area was at one time an, almost an industrial wasteland. They had completely paved the river over because they didn't want to see it. Right. And then we uh, daylighted the river in the late 1980s and built uh, the River Park and Water Place Park and Memorial Park and put in the new bridges and completely opened the water and made it accessible to all the people of Providence and anyone who visits here. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, some of the places we're passing by here, uh, we just went under the... That's the Point Street Bridge. Okay. Built in 1927 by the Boston Bridge Works Company. Okay. At one time, a swing bridge. This big bridge used to pivot open wow. in turn so that commercial ships could come further upriver and into the downtown area. Okay, but that hasn't done that for a while. Uh, as far as we know, the last time it turned was in 1950. Oh, okay. There are not accurate records on that. You, but last you weren't around Friday. then. I, I was, was not I was around. around. No, I mean, we were both born in the late 80s, so, I mean, it was, it was, I'm, I'm a little before then. All right, 85. <laughs> so, uh, so you have that here. And now, I mean, some of the, the revitalization, I mean, we're about to pass through what used to be the abutments that would support 195. This was the 195 bridge here in front of us. They're, they're very busily working to turn this into a pedestrian and bicycle bridge across the river so that both sides of the river walk and river park can be accessed in almost a loop. You'll be able to walk the whole thing as a loop or bike the whole thing as a loop and cross here. There's going to be a, a, almost a, a parkway across the river here with, with seating and lighting and uh, a section for bikes and a section for pedestrians. Right here awesome. on, the, on the old footings, the granite footings you see yep. here of the old 195 Providence River Bridge, which of course was torn down seven years ago and when they built the new bridge out over the harbor. Right, right. And uh, and they're just they're doing a great job here. They're working on it and is, do you know if there's a date they expect to have this finished? Or? I know. If I went to a meeting last year and they told me that they had to have steel down across here by the end of this year. Okay. And that they had to have the bridge completed by December of 2018. Well, they, they're, they're, they're looking pretty close. They're almost ready for steel. I, I think, think they're, they're ready, ready to steal. They're ready to pour the concrete here. There's uh, some rebar in place, and they've already done a lot of it on the sides. The abutments for the bridge on both sides of the river are either, either begun or almost finished. They've, they've made quite a lot of progress since last fall. You guys, uh, if you are not already sold out already, you're probably pretty close to it. One of the most popular attractions down here is Water Fire. Okay. Water Fire is a signature you, event. You guys have two boats. Uh, we have two boats that we do tours uh, through Water Fire. Yep. Um, it's a little different than our normal uh, narrated tour. We um, just do a ride. They play the music soundtrack for Water Fire, so it's very loud on the river. Yep. We do a 30-minute boat ride through the fires. Uh, and People ask me how close do you get out. Sometimes I don't. We'll be almost right in the fires. You'll feel the heat of the fire. Um, Get to see it close up. It's a very leisurely 30 minute ride up and back through the uh, downtown area during water. Now, when you do take your traditional tours, you go actually just outside of this area. Or the hurricane barrier. So we, we leave from the dock, our normal tour leaves from the docks at the uh, southern end of the river by the hot club on uh, South Water Street or Bridge Street. Yep. And we go north into the city, okay. up through the park, and then we go back down into the harbor underneath the hurricane barrier and the new Highway Bridge and uh, take a look at the industrial port of Providence and show people what that's like. A lot of people don't even realize that we have a very active uh, commercial port here, second busiest port in New England after Boston. Uh, a lot of things come into the Port of Providence, and a few things go out. And 
we talk about that and show people what that means. It's a very different perspective to the uh, the architecture and history and educational centers of the downtown area, and you move to the other side of the city, and it's uh, commercial and industrial. How long ago did you start this whole venture? Um, I actually didn't start this venture. I purchased the company um, from a gentleman named, gentleman named Joe Dempsey in uh, 2005. This is my 13th season, but this is our 26th year wow. doing rides on the river. Joe started the company in 1991, uh, and uh, I knew Joe when he started it. I was uh, between careers in 04, 05, and uh, talked to Joe, and I ended up buying the company. We've uh, had it ever since. Um, new boats, this new boat this year, a second one coming, uh, identical to this. That was uh, already in the state, but it's not ready for uh, service yet. Your tours go right up through when? Uh, we start, uh, our official start date is May 1st, although we're usually in the river by the middle of April, depending on when the weather, when the weather breaks, so we'll get the boats clean and in the water. Yeah. And then we run right through until the first Saturday of December, actually. Wow. Okay. Uh, and we still do the daytime tours in October, even November. We finished the season on that first Saturday of December with holiday rides downtown here on the boat. So oh, we put, fantastic. We put Santa Claus or uh, Frosty on the boat, uh, depending on what your choices are. And we uh, cool. put families with kids on the boat, and we do a little ride through the river. Two years ago, we had dolphins following us around in the river during the holiday ride. Really? Yeah, they were feeding on the bait fish here. There's a, the river in uh, spring and fall is full of bait fish called Menhaden. Okay. Also known as the Fogies, the fishermen. Yep, yep. And we had uh, uh, Atlantic white sided dolphin that came all the way up into the city. Uh, they were not lost. They were feeding on the fish. They would follow me along with the boat. And as the boat moved along the walls, the fish would get congested. And the dolphins would swim right through and eat them. Really? Yep. Wow. The so river here is cleaner than it's been in 150 years. I was going to say, so people may not realize that you have dolphins up here. Um, that's not common. I, would, I don't want to tell people they're going to come down and see dolphins. Well, it's not a dolphin watch, but Flipper is uh, but he relatives. Came, he came right to the middle of downtown Providence two years ago. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah. And uh, in the winter, I often see gray seals and harbor seals in here as well. Wow. Unbelievable. And I mean, we're, we're cruising through here on a midweek, a business week, and, you know, it's not uncommon for you to see, uh, you know, people out you know, walking, running, having lunch, you know, or, or even, you know, conducting business day. You know, it's a great place to have a meeting. Absolutely. During the week, a lot of people use the park for uh, not just exercise and leisure. Um, some folks over here having a lunch right now along the uh, wall at Memorial Park here in front of the uh, Superior and uh, Supreme Court complex. Yep. Uh, that World War One monument was part of the old bridge that covered all this. They put it back up here uh, after they finished the park. This is the uh, water fire bridge here to our right on these pieces of stonework, which are the original footings of the old Crawford Street Bridge that covered all this. Wow. Okay. So they, they, they've done, I mean, this is just a total, if you've never seen the city, from this angle, I mean, this is, this is, you, you gotta do it. It's absolutely a must do. You, you gotta do it. I, I can assure you, you've never seen the downtown area. So when you're driving or walking through downtown, you tend to look at where you're going, right? But if you're right. on the boat here with me, you can look around and, and see these vistas and views of the city from an angle you've never had before. Unbelievable. This is, this is, this is fantastic. I mean, it's, it's been years since I did it personally on a canoe. Um, this is great because you're doing all the work. You know, I do all the driving and I, I talk along the way, tell people what we're seeing and uh, answer their questions as best I can. What's the most common question you get? Uh, I get a lot of questions about how much wood they burn at water. Okay. Uh, a I've lot. Been, I've been told four quarts an hour. Wow. Uh, I funny. also get asked a lot about the hurricanes that happened. Okay. We had uh, some signature hurricane events in the 20th century in Providence, 1938 and 1954. Sure. I've heard about those if they have any idea. Uh, if they came from New England, they usually have older family members who've told them about those events and how much they changed people's lives around here. Uh, in 38, they had very little warning, about four hours notice that a Category 3 hurricane was coming through here. Right. Uh, caused major damage to the city and the surrounding area, Providence and uh, the Rhode Island area, so I think anyone near the water yep. would definitely remember that, or their grandparents would. Sure, sure. We talk, that's a common question about the hurricanes and kind of that happened and what happens now if we have a hurricane. What happens now if we have a hurricane? Well, what happens now is that we, uh, the, the federal government and the state um, got together and built a hurricane barrier in the 1960s across the mouth of the Providence River down by uh, Fox Point. It's called the Fox Point Hurricane Barrier. Okay. It was the first of seven structures they built like that in the Northeast to protect cities from hurricanes. Providence is the largest and the first one. Now it's completed in 1966, and they have gates across the river and across the roads that access the southern part of the city, like the Port of Providence or India Point Park. They closed those gates, and then that whole wall acts as a dam to stop that surge of water from coming in here. Interesting. Yeah, people don't realize that it's a series of gates and, and, and lots. It's not just one. Most people have no idea there's anything on land. They right. think that barrier is just that structure in the river, but it actually stretches 3,000 feet in total. Yeah, and you, and you drive by it, you don't even realize that you're, you're passing it. You just see this metal 
piece. You want what is that with the reinforcements behind it? Right. So there's, not a, there's, no, there's nothing to describe or tell you what it is. Right. We'll talk all about that. We go through the hurricane barrier, not into the harbor. Wow. So I mean, this is really you know, if you, if you want to go on a date, this is a great option. Uh, if you've got family in from out of town, this is a great option. But even if you live in in the state, you know, you're going to learn a lot of things about you know Providence, the river here. I mean, what I mean, where the ocean state is, water comes from the ocean. Uh, we have, we well, have it comes, coming comes in. down as well. The, uh, this, it's brackish water. Okay. So it's a mixture of fresh water coming down from the north and yeah. the salt water that comes up the tide every okay. day. So that What's your favorite so part of, uh, of, of doing this kind of a, uh, a gig? My favorite part of uh, driving the boat is meeting people who have come to Providence and had, they don't have the expectations. They've heard that we have great food and great history, but to connect with that history uh, is a moment you can see in them and they realize, wow, we've been here almost 400 years, 1636. Yeah. It was founded on the ideas and principles of freedom. Roger Williams came here because he was you know, persecuted for what he believed in Massachusetts yep. and came here to escape that persecution. And Providence has thrived since as a place where it was all people. Yeah. It's great. Great. Well, what's the best way if people want to get on board and, and, and come find you and take a tour? What's the best way? They can reach us a number of ways. Okay. One of the easiest is to give us a call. You can call us at 401 580 BOAT. Okay. That's our phone number. 401 580 BOAT. BOAT. Yeah, like it's actually 6628. Right. So the alphanumeric would change. Exactly. Uh, you can also go right to our website for the ride, right to the website. Uh, that's uh, ProvidenceRiverBoat.com. Awesome. And you can connect uh, through us there and book your rides, pick your times, and, uh, and pay the entire transaction right through the website. And uh, not call us if you choose not to. That's all right. We'll talk to you when you get here. You can also uh, show up by foot. You can walk right into the hot club docks and uh, get on the boat. If we have an opening, we'll get you right on board. And awesome. take you for a ride. You grab a drink from the bar there. And and of course, people can find you guys on Facebook and follow you. And, Facebook, and Instagram, Twitter. We're you on guys all are all, uh, all over it. All yeah. over it. We have you, someone, uh, our, so the general manager of the company, Kristen Stone. She uh, is, does a great job of connecting people and getting our voice out there and taking care of customers when they call and uh, helping them with other choices. We uh, end up giving out advice on restaurants and where to eat, okay. what they want to do. Besides this in the city, they, uh, sometimes it's easy for them to find us, but not to find other things. They sure. want to do other things as well, so sure. we try to help them. Very appropriate. We're ending right at the heart here of the Water Place, uh, the Water Place Basin. Water Place Park Basin, which is this round area. Uh, if you've ever been downtown and seen this, it's right near the mall. Obviously, yep. you can see it from the, uh, the gallery of the mall there over the yep. river. The river comes out through the mall and into the, uh, the Water Place Park area. And this was built round like this for a very specific reason. What's that? They're paying homage here to the original Salt Cove. Okay. That's the centerpiece of downtown Providence. Wow. Ah, all right. Folks. Get yourself down here. Grab the family. Grab the kids. Make it a day. Come on down. Come hang with Captain Come for a Tom. ride. Come for a boat ride. Believe me, you're, you're gonna love it. This is, this is absolutely excellent. Captain Tom, thank you, sir. Thank you, Ben. Welcome aboard. Have you. a great day. You too.